30 Minutes of Umoria, show 50. <clears throat> Hello, come on in. Welcome to, what's the name of the show? Welcome to uh, 30 Minutes of Umoria. How could I forget? This, the 50th show of 30 Minutes of Umoria, is brought to you by the lowercase letter R. The lowercase letter R represents eight different creatures in Umoria, one of which is the Silver Mouse. The Silver Mouse is usually found around at depths of 200 feet, and it moves a bit erratically at normal speed. It has an armor rating of 5, and a life rating of 1 die 1. It can breed explosively. It is susceptible to frost, fire, and poison. It is fairly observant of intruders, which you may notice, from 80 feet away. It can hit to absorb light with damage 1 die 1. The Silver Mouse. Before we get started, let's check out... The Wheel Source Code! Okay, it's time to spin the wheel again. What are we going to get this time? A glimpse into some Moria source code. That's for certain. Three, two, one, and stop. Build type one. I know what that one is. That's a room that's being built. Oh, 68 lines long in generate.c. Build type one. Build underscore type one. Got it? There it is. Robert Allen Kaniki did this one. Builds a room at row and column. X, val, y, val. Um, type one unusual rooms are several overlapping rectangular ones. Huh. Okay. Let's have a look. So, looks like there's some randomness going on here. Weird variable name there, I0. And that's the whole loop right there. So we're going to do some randomness first. And we're going to randomly pick the height and the depth. And also where exactly the top left corner is. I guess that's what that is. I guess that's what that is. Anyway. Um... The X dimension of rooms tends to be much larger than the Y dimension, so don't bother re rewriting the Y loop. Okay. Complicated stuff for just a simple room here, isn't it? Look at that. So we're going to do our height. Then we're going to do our height again. They're both going up. I don't know what's going on here. I guess it's an overlapping rectangle, like he says. And there's the width of it going on there, but we don't get an overlapping width at all. We only get the overlapping height. Huh. Well, we'll just leave it at that. We'll check at the, uh, where it's called from. There it is. If type 1, then do type 1, 2, 3. And that is all she wrote for that. What function is this in? Probably build room or something. Gabe Jen. Ugh. That's a tough one. Tough function to understand. And this is a tough function to understand as well. I, I gotta say, it's more complicated than I thought. Huh. Well, we'll just leave it at that. We now know what it does. We're kind of confused about how it does what it does. But there you have it. The Wheel of Source Code. The title screen. As if you haven't seen it before, you Mario 5.6. Your pack is so heavy it slows you down. There's a secret to that. And we're still fast. Well, we have two rings of speed on, and we're carrying too much stuff. On purpose. Let's clear 
this level. Shall we? So what are we trying to do? We're trying to beat the Balrog. It's going to be pretty easy once, once we meet him and we're super fast. But even our speed doesn't get us to the lower levels. Even our speed doesn't make it that easy. Why not? Well, there are things that can kill you in one breath. Our hit points just are not high enough to withstand accidental exposure to regular happenings at lower depths. I'm speaking mostly of uh, dragons. And for a mage, there are some breaths that are simply uh, not withstandable at all for any mage. Because the hit points just aren't there. Other classes might uh, be different in that regard. Flesh Golem. Iron Helm, what could that be? I've seen some pretty cool stuff that's an Iron Helm. As good as our current helm. All right, strange rune. Seven plus seven. Wow, we got to keep the seven plus seven. Look at that. Amazing. We have a AC of 34. Oops. Somehow I'm confused. Let's try that again. Whew. That was weird. I almost dropped my magic book. Open sesame. Hmm. Trap creation. We tried making those and then disarming them. We didn't get the experience points that we thought we'd get. What is that? A giant yellow tick. We do not have the wherewithal to deal with it, so we put it to sleep. And it wakes up. What? Sleep monster again. Look at that. Maybe when we while we move slow, it wakes it up. Huh. 
Huh, that's curious. Maybe it's like we're walking around with big giant boots on here. For a big pack. He should stay asleep though, I know that much. Maybe we are aggravating monsters just by walking. Well, let's see what we got. Killer Green Beetle. to that area, right back here. Oh, look at that. It's always exciting when you find a new area the map you thought was closed off. Moving on. Nothing there. It was worth it though. We mm, cleared out more of the map. Where else on the map have we not explored yet? I don't know. Well, let's just go to another level. We're nearly at 23. You know what would be handy? A nice sea invisible item. Then we could go deep. It's scary how deep we could go. We are being held back, yes sir. By lack of sea invis. Maybe we'll purchase it in the store. Flash Gollum. Well, we're going to do this one the old-fashioned way. You got him. Now bear with me while I recharge those staffs. Or as the actual term is, staves. Now makes me wonder how many turns I have to sleep until the stores change. That is a hell of a question. At the heart of it is how time works in Moria, in you Moria how it works in the code. When I rest one turn, am I resting a steady amount of time? Or is it 
modified time. These are good questions. Something I guess I'll probably find out. The hard way. Full plate armor. I can't wear it, but I can admire it. Oh. Let's try putting it on. Wow. I can wear it, kind of. Fourteen. I think that applies to our two hit. I think we're minus three to hit because of that. Because we're in this big bulky full plate. Wow. 38 pounds worth. Why not? We'll never move fast again with it on. these particular rooms. Never know what you're going to find. Hard leather boots. Better than the ones we have. Bastard sword. Just a normal bastard sword. That was fun. Wow. They ran out of spaces in there. It was so full. What do you suppose this one does? Genocide. Mass Genocide does either everything on the whole board or everything within view. But Genocide, you'll pick a particular letter. We're going to use that next time and we'll see if we get any experience. I don't think we do. Wait for a situation to use it anyway. Mushroom of Blindness, Redwood Staff. What's that? Sleep monsters. Well, surely we can get rid of something. Get rid of that. Pick up that. Alright. Moving on. Let's uh, let this guy breed a bit. Wish we could make some doors around ourselves. All right, now we rest up. Maybe eat. What should we do? Just let that go there for a while. He's not going anywhere. We're coming back to that. Hobgoblin. Hey, special room. Could that be another potion to gain experience? I seriously doubt it. Lose experience. Oof. How do you suppose our louses are doing up there? Go back and check on him now. Why not? Let's go check on him. Oops. Let's just 
get this little corner first. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Ready? Open. Well, that's not very much. All right, read the genocide scroll. I didn't look for the uh, experience. Darn it. Twenty three hundred and change. Isn't bad. All right. Oops, what was that? Club, no thank you. All right. Well, at this rate, we're going to have to stay at this level for a long time. We want to level up. Still 3,000 away. 3,000. Ah, man. Set of gauntlets. 2 plus 2. Square them. You now have an AC of 47, which is pretty darn good. Turns out to Can you just see this weakling uh, moving super fast with a huge pack and big plate mail on? That's us. Eight strength. Should we go down? Down to another depth. Am I going away from stairs or towards stairs here? Hmm. Oh man. Picking up crap here. Seven hundred fifty feet, we're starting in a special room. Let's open up this one. We got a person. Let's open up this one. We got a harpy. With the scroll we've never seen. Someone undead. Is it worth it to cast that? 
Not in this room. Not in this room. The problem with that is it could be invisible. And then what would we do? Well, we would drink one of our potions. Yeah, this might be good. Or it might be deadly. Yeah, let's try that uh, summon. Seems like a good room. What am I looking for? I don't know. It's just an empty room where you can't be disturbed. Ready? You know what? We're going to quaff Detect Invisible first. Wow. Forest White. A gray wraith, a moaning spirit. Wow, what do we get for him? A thousand. We got a thousand just for him. What do we get for him? Wow, he, he belongs a thousand feet below. There's no telling what that could have actually brought up. Whew, good going, Ben. I hate to say that was worth it, but wow, that was great. Let's leave that one behind. That's a quick thousand. Next. That was fun. Black Mamba. Okay, we're at 24-7, and we, know, we need to go to 2062. Two, sorry, 247 versus 262. Hard leather armor, that cannot be better than what we have. It's impossible. Moving on. Giant flea in the middle of an empty room. Kind of makes you wonder what he was living on. Yes, the ecology of Moria. Economy is one thing, but ecology is cooler. All right. Disarmed. Well, this could be a magical broadsword, but it's not. You're not destined to pick one of those up. Cutlass. Pretty nice. One die seven. Well, that's better than our spare, anyway. All right, well, let's see. Cutlass is one die seven plus 
four. Max of eleven. The other spare is nine plus two max of eleven. But it's more often going to get higher, I think. Yeah. Not sure. Not sure how that's calculated. All right. Yeah, that summon was like a mini game experience. All right, searching, searching again. Nothing in it except for money. Not all that much money. Go blind. That's a plus. That could be magical. What do you think? So could that. Nope. Nope. We need to find something better. about done this board. Okay. Remember when we had more gold than experience? I do. Wasn't very long ago. Is that a finished board or what? Go down to 800 feet. This is our lowest level yet, 800 feet. Welcome. We are looking good. 48 AC. Starting us out in the middle. That's bad. Hey, self. Opal Bunny overkill with the fire bolt on him. Just a little bit of a welcome, you know, to the board. Is there anything that needs to be identified? Nothing there, I don't think. Nope. There you go. That sound means five minutes left. All right, so we were just about ready to give it up for the day. Major cures, what does that do?
don't know. Finger protection. Can't carry it. Let's eat the major tears. Um, what to do? We just got here on this level. We ruined the, the end of it here by going through the center of it. Umber Hulk. When Yisha died, there was an Umber Hulk involved. Never killed one. What's he worth? He's native. Not worth much. 50 points, which is pretty good. Well, we are just all over the map on this board. All over the map. Fell into a pit, but thank goodness we didn't fall right all the way through. Feeling, throw on the pile. Alright, now what? Yeti, that's what. Looks like we did a loop. And we will be at the end of the session very soon. Very soon. In fact, let's leave it right there. We're on the outer edge. All right, thanks for watching. We got some new, uh, some new armor there. Wow. And uh, we are just pushing ahead. We're at the lowest level yet. Depth. 800 feet. When we come back, we will continue. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.